we are doing the new chapter today that is light energy though we do is already there in the website but we will be doing ourselves this chapter the new other chapter is light so what is light light is the form of energy which causes the sensation of visibility due to light we are able to see an object we are able to visualize an object on it now the topic which you have in syllabus is for this is the topic refraction of light refraction of light refraction of light what is refraction of light we say refraction is bending or the change in the direction of light path of the light the bending of a ray of light when it travels from one optical medium to the other optical medium having different densities having different densities is called refraction of light once again i am saying so you can write it down in your notebook it is the or the the bending of a ray of light the bending of a ray of light when it travels from one optical medium to the other optical medium having different densities in other words diffraction of light is the phenomenon in which there is change in the direction of the path of ray of light at the surface separating two media of different optical densities that also is the definition of diffraction of light that is we know that the light travels faster in the rarer medium the whose density is less and light travels slower with the less speed in the denser medium the medium is dense optically dense the speed of light will be slowing down will become less whereas in the rarer medium where the density of the medium is less light will travel faster normally light travels fastest in vacuum and little slower in air because air is a rare medium and in other mediums such as glass transparent medium glass water plastic paper so over there they are denser medium there is the speed of light decreases over there and because of change in the speed of light in different medium the refraction takes place what is the cause of refraction we say refraction of light is caused due to change in the speed of light as speed of light as speed of light varies from one medium to the other medium for example we we'll write out the speed of light for example the speed of light the speed of light in vacuum in vacuum or air is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second this is the value of speed of light in vacuum in vacuum this the value is much in air the value is slightly less but approximately we take it equal to equal to this value the vacuum uh, speed of light in vacuum or air we consider nearly equal and the value is 3 to 10 to the power of 8 similarly speed of light in glass in glass the value is going to be 2 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second and the speed of light in water is equal to 2.25 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second so this three value we are supposed to learn we are supposed to know and the first value we must know everybody must know the speed of light value in air or in vacuum and the value is equal to 3 into 10 to the power of 8 that is 3 and 8 zeros very high value light travels much much faster in air or in vacuum than the uh, sound sound travels with a speed only 330 meter per second whereas this travels with a very very high speed the light that's why we sometimes use the term lightning speed that is it is in instantly it comes there okay that is the idea okay then what is the cause of refraction see the cause speed of light 
varies from one medium to the another medium. So at the surface, the ray of light traveling from one medium when it enters the another medium, either if either its speed will increase or it will be decreasing. Either it will speed up or it will slow down. If it is slowing down or it is speeding up, so the the there will be bending taking place and that is called refraction of light. Refraction of light takes place at the surface separating two media. That is, we are having a surface boundary, we call it boundary of surface, one medium here, another medium, type of medium here. This medium may be rare medium and this medium may be denser medium. Example of rare medium can be air, example of denser medium can be water with respect to this one uh, or glass. Some of this is water here. Ray of light is traveling in like this, this way. In here, the speed is same, same everywhere, there is no medium taking place. But here is the surface separating air and water. At this point, do you think the ray of light will continue going same in the same direction? Answer is no, the direction will change. Bending will take place now. So at this point, we we'll draw a line which is called normal. This line is called normal. Normal is the line drawn perpendicular to the surface. Here is the surface, the perpendicular to draw. This angle has to be 90 degree. Normal makes an angle of 90 degree with the surface, with the boundary or with the surface. So the ray of light, because here the speed has to slow down because this is denser medium. The speed is slowing down, so it will be bending somewhat like this. If the speed is increasing, it will go like this. So just now the speed is slowing down, so the this ray of light will be bending in this direction. Some, something like this it will be bending. So this phenomenon is called refraction. So this is the bending of light. The ray of light is not going straight, rather it is bending on entering a tensor medium. So this phenomenon is called refraction of light. So in the refraction of light, we check different type of this way. The ray which is falling on the surface is called incident ray. This ray is called incident ray. The ray falling on the surface or on the boundary is called incident ray and this point O is called point of incidence. At this point the incident ray is falling. At this point the incident ray is coming at the point O. So this point is called point of incidence. What is normal? Normal is drawn at the point of incidence. This normal is the perpendicular drawn on the surface. The ray which bends in the another medium is called refracted ray. Refracted is the bent ray. Refracted ray. We call it refracted ray. This ray is called refracted ray. And we show two angles. This angle will show. This angle, angle which the incidence ray makes with the normal, not with the surface which it makes with the normal is called, denoted by I and I is called angle of incidence and the other angle with the refracted ray makes with the normal, this angle with the normal and not with the boundary, this angle is called angle of refraction so I will be writing here here I is called angle of angle of incidence and R is called angle of refraction. Angle of refraction. With the now we can see the ray is bending it towards the normal. This side of the like this. If it goes the that's the other side, we say away from the normal. When ray of light travels from rarer to denser medium, it bends towards the normal. That means this can the angle I will be bigger than angle r. This angle will be anything but more than the value of r. Suppose if i like this, uh, value of i is 60 degree, the value of r can be anything but less than 60 degree. It can be 40 degree, it can be 35 degree, it can be 50 degree, anything but less than 60 it will be there. It can be even 20 degree. By chance this angle is given. This angle is suppose for example this angle is given to us 30 degree. What is the value of i then? The whole angle is 90 degree. Remember the normal makes total 90 degree because I said 90 degree. Said 90 degree. This is also another 90 degree should be there. If this is 30, then I value will come 60 degree. Similarly, if this angle is given 50 degree here, like this, 
So what is the value of R? Same way, 90 minus this will do. This angle is supposed to be whole angle is 90, so 90 minus 50 will be the value of R. This time the value of R will come 40 degree and the value of R will come 60 degree here. That will be happening here. So we have to see the diagram carefully. So with what angle is here? the angle with the normal and the incident and that angle is called denoted by R. Angle between the in refracted ray and the normal that is called angle R. If the angle of the surface is given, we can always calculate I. Or if we know I, we can always calculate the angle which the ray can make with the surface. If you subtract from 90, you will get that answer. If this is 60, this will be 30. If this is 50, then this will be 40. Or if this is 40, then this angle will be 50. So that way you can show the calculation. So this is the label diagram. You must draw this diagram in your copy. Like as I read this systematically, that way. And this is for your understanding sake, I did so. I am just for the time being omitting it. The values I am omitting, but just mark this angle out here. Angle I and angle R. So this is the label diagram showing the refraction of light for a ray of light when it travels from rear to the denser medium. So the diagram will be like this. Okay, now the, let us see the reverse of this. Reverse of this is like this. When the ray of light, I will show another diagram like this. When the ray of light, suppose this side we are having denser medium, this side we are having rarer medium. Example can be the same. This is air, this is maybe water. Ray is traveling like this. Here is the point of incidence O. We draw normal, normal will be perpendicular to the surface either side. You can draw either this side or this side, any one side you can draw or you can draw here also. Anywhere this is normal here. Now you see the incident ray is going like this. Incident arrow is must, arrow you must mark. In all the diagrams, arrow is very important. Without arrow, you, you will not get mass. No arrow, no mass. So arrow is must. Denser between the rays traveling like this. Now it is now entering this is the surface separating the two media. So this is rear media. We know that the rear media the speed is increasing. So the ray will be going away or bending away from the normal, will be directed away from the normal. So the ray will be speed is increasing, the ray will go away from the normal like this. From this point only, the ray will be going away from the normal like this. That this ray will not go straight, rather it will be bending away from the normal. So let us mark the angle. This angle will be the angle I, the refracted incidentally and the normal. And here is the refracted ray, so this angle will be the angle R. This time you will find, since the ray is going away from the normal, so this angle will be bigger than the angle I. And also I was bigger than R. And <coughs> suppose if I is 30 degree then R can be anything but more than this value. 30 degree can be 40, 50, 45, it can be anything but it will be more than the value of I. That means the ray of light is going bending away from the normal. When does the ray of light bend away from the normal? When it travels from denser to the rear medium. When does it bend towards the normal? Then we say when the ray of light travels from rear to the denser medium like this. This way the diagram will come. Here the diagram will come like this. Here the speed is increasing, that's why it is going away from the normal. When the speed is decreasing, then it will bend towards the normal. When the speed is decreasing. So, so this is how you draw the diagram. Suppose portion comes like this, one portion is here, here, and there are two diagrams shown. This is medium A, this is medium B, and the wave that is coming here. Ray of light is incident ray is coming here. Here also the medium B and medium B is here. This is diagram 1. This is a diagram 2. This is the point of incidence. Here is the point of incidence. And this line is the boundary or the surface separating the medium A and medium B. This is same thing on here. Now the first case in the diagram 1 question says the speed of light increases in the medium B. Copy and complete the diagram. A. Diagram 1. In the diagram 1, once again the question is, in the diagram 1, the 
light speeds up in the medium B. Light is speeding up, that means the speed of light is increasing in the medium B. Copy and complete that diagram. So how do you do? How will you complete? This will be the question will be only this much. Now will be writing the answer here. Answer for answer for answer. That is for diagram one. Diagram one. We'll draw a diagram once again here. This is medium A. This is medium B. Here is all. This was the uh, this was given in the question. This much was given. Now we are doing so. We draw normal first. Normal and we draw here, making 90 degree angle. Exactly perpendicular. Then this, these two will be exactly 90. They should look like making 90 degree angle with each other. Now the question says the speed in should increase and speed up. Speeding up means this should go away from the normal. So the ray will be going away from the normal. Okay, like this. This is how you complete. That means you will mark your I and mark the angle as R. Like this. I and R. If they say speed is slowing down, it will bend towards the normal. It will not go straight, rather it will be away from the normal, other side of the normal. <coughs> this diagram is complete. Now we write for diagram 2. For diagram 2. Second diagram. The clue is given the speed of light in the medium B, the speed of light in the medium B decreases or the light slows down while entering the medium B. Question says that. Copy and complete the diagram. So here again we will be drawing the same way. Like this. This is medium A, this is medium B. Now here O will draw normal here at the point of incidence and arrow is there. This part, this much was given in the question. Now the clue is given that the light has to decrease, the speed of light has to decrease in the medium B. That means the ray will be bending towards the, this should have gone straight but it won't, it will be bending towards the normal so any way it will bend like this towards the normal and mark the angle here I and mark the angle R over here. So this is how you complete this diagram. Diagram 1 and diagram 2 will complete like this. If the further part of the question says <coughs> in the diagram 1 which of the two medium is denser A or B? Here we see the light is speeding up in the medium B, that means the medium has to be clear. And that means the medium B is denser. When the ray travels from denser to the rear, then it goes away from the normal. That is medium in the first diagram, A is denser and B is rear. Second diagram, the ray is bending towards the normal. When does the ray bend towards the normal? When it travels from rear to the denser medium. That is, A is a rear medium and B is a denser medium. So that is how you decide. So what is the cause of refraction? The cause of refraction is the change in the speed. The speed of light changes from one medium to the other medium. And due to which the bending will take place at the surface. Refraction takes place where? At the surface. At the surface. Not in the same medium anywhere. Not in between. So at the surface. At the boundary. The, there only the refraction will be the bending takes place over there only separating the two media the, at the surface separating the two media at the boundary separating the two media angle I and angle R I will mark clearly in first case when the ray travels from rarer to the tensor I will be bigger than R because it is bending the ray is bending towards the normal the R will be smaller angle and I will be bigger second case the ray is going bending away from the normal that means this time R will be bigger than I or you can say I will be smaller than R. So our today's lesson is this much. We will continue with this same chapter the next day. Thank you.